In this video, we are looking at the PET Tumor Segmentation Extension for 3D Slicer, a multi-platform, free and open source software package for visualization and medical image computing. This extension was designed for segmentation of lesions in PET scans. It is one of a suite of publicly available tools developed at the University of Iowa. Details of the method and a performance evaluation on clinical FDG head and neck cancer PET scans can be found in our medical physics paper listed in the description below. This video will cover installation and usage. In this example, we're using 3D Slicer version 5.0.2. Note that the tool is available for several versions of 3D Slicer. Please use Slicer's extension manager to check availability for the version you are using. From the 3D Slicer main window, navigate to the extension manager then search for the suite of PET tools. The PET Tumor Segmentation tool is implemented as a segment editor effect and can be used without installing any other extensions. In this video, we will use it in conjunction with the PET DICOM extensions, which allow loading PET DICOM datasets as SUV normalized images. After installation, restart 3D Slicer. Begin by loading the PET scan that you wish to analyze from the DICOM database. To load the dataset as SUV normalized volume, make sure that the DICOM PET SUV plugin is enabled. Once the dataset is loaded, select the Segment Editor module from the Module Selector. Our PET tumor segmentation tool was designed based on the just enough interaction principle. Just enough interaction focuses on minimizing the user required segmentation interaction and allows the expert to provide high level guidance. It is still the user's responsibility to identify the individual lesions in the PET scan and to decide which regions should be included in each lesion. To locate all lesions, we recommend searching through the entire dataset, top to bottom, using the mouse wheel. Enabling slice plane intersections and holding the shift key down while moving the mouse cursor over a high uptake region in one slice automatically shows the same location in both other views. This makes it easier to get an impression of the lesion in 3D and locate a rough lesion center. Once a lesion has been located, the user can start the segmentation process. Click Add to create a new segment for the lesion, then click on the PET Tumor Segmentation Effect icon. The cursor icon will change, indicating that the PET Tumor Segmentation tool is now active, and the tool's option pane becomes available. Now, click approximately on the center of the lesion in any of the three slice planes. The algorithm will automatically generate a three-dimensional segmentation. The user should verify the segmentation by scrolling through all the slice planes covered by the lesion. To add another lesion, add a new segment and start with the segmentation process. In many cases, just one click is sufficient to obtain a good quality segmentation for each lesion. However, in some situations, more user interaction may be required. In these cases, the tool offers different interaction styles and options to provide additional guidance to the algorithm. The following examples will demonstrate the effects of this interaction style. Please note that this tool also supports undo in case one is not satisfied with the modified segmentation. The tool offers three interaction styles. In cases where the whole segmentation seems too large or too small, select Global Refinement and choose a point the new boundary should go through. This changes the whole boundary of the segmentation based on the gray value of the selected point.
In cases where most of the segmentation appears correct, but there are local segmentation errors, select Local Refinement and click on a point the new boundary should go through. This changes the boundary of the segmentation only in the area near the segmentation error. To simply create a new segmentation region with the same label, select Create New and click approximately at the center of the new region to segment. All interaction styles can be applied several times until the desired segmentation result is obtained. The tool also offers different options providing additional information to the algorithm. You can specify these options before starting the segmentation or apply them after initial segmentation by clicking the Apply button. Splitting is useful in cases of adjacent objects that need to be cut off. For example, in the case of lymph node chains. We recommend segmenting each lymph node in a lymph node chain separately rather than in bulk. In the case of small low uptake lesions adjacent to large high uptake regions, it is advisable to segment the larger lesion first. Assist centering, which is enabled by default, helps locate the lesion center by moving the center to the highest voxel within a 7mm range of the user click without being on or next to another segmented object. Sealing and allow overwrite affect the behavior in cases when another already segmented lesion is nearby. Sealing closes single voxel gaps between the current segmentation and other objects. Allow overwrite is disabled by default. If enabled, it allows the inclusion of a piece of another already segmented lesion. There are also more advanced options that are only needed in rare cases, such as necrotic regions. Enabling this option allows placing the center point of a lesion in the necrotic part of a tumor, rather than in a high uptake region. For these kinds of tumors, more user interaction is required. This video introduced our pet tumor segmentation tool and its usage. The tool was designed based on a just enough interaction approach and provides high quality segmentations for most cases with only one or a few clicks. To know how to best approach segmentation of lesions in challenging situations requires some user experience. The tool supports undo, redo to try different approaches. For a more complete description of all available options, see our paper and our website.